This incident began two days ago after an inmate seized the keys of a prison guard and went and opened some of the cells of his fellow inmates, of which those inmates took part in a riot. Now, in that riot, they were targeting sex offenders, which were also being housed at the facility. They also had access to a garden shed because of those keys that had been seized from that police officer. Now, the ABC has obtained an image of items that were reportedly used within uh, that riot. You can see that there are some items there, tennis rackets, also a whippersnipper and a garden rake, which were reportedly used within that part, forming part of that police investigation now. Now, we have got word that uh, those inmates, 21 people have now been charged. Uh, most of them, most of those used will be appearing via video link at Woi Woi Children's Court, but there are five adults which will be uh, facing the Gosford Court. One apparently uh, appeared yesterday, but four men will be appearing here at the Gosford Court. Now, the reason why uh, those four men who are adults were being housed at the juvenile facility is that under the laws, juveniles who uh, do commit crimes and are committed to serve their time at these juvenile detention centres can serve out the duration of their sentence regardless that it goes into the early years of adulthood. Now, yesterday we did hear from the state government saying that those charged in relation to that riot will be moved to an adult facility and we're expected uh, that to be the outcome today. These events don't come as any surprise to us. Uh, we've been warning the government uh, for three years now that something like this would occur. Uh, we've had a number of other incidents. Indeed, our members have had statewide stoppages. That is, our members at six facilities across the state have walked off the job twice this year. And that's to protest safety concerns. That's before this incident occurred. Um, really, this has its genesis back in 2015 when uh, the juvenile justice system lost what was then the carry-on facility which adjoined Frank Baxter. That facility used to house the most violent and extreme juvenile inmates. We lost that facility to the adult system then and nothing has been put in place to manage high-risk offenders. Uh, we've then seen an escalation in violence over the years. Now, um, this was totally predictable and, and again, indeed we foresaw uh, this incident occurring. Okay, in, in your view, uh, what would it take to prevent future incidents like the one we've witnessed at Carry On? Our concern is, is that things may well be past, um, you know, uh, being able to come in and fix it quickly. We think there needs to be a proper judicial review. We need to have a, a good, long, hard look at the legislation that regulates the juvenile system. We need to look at how that interacts with the adult system and the legislation that regulates the adult system. Uh, we need to look at the powers that are given to youth officers to deal with these types of disturbances. And we need to look at segregation. I mean, we had sex offenders uh, that were housed in the general population. They were targeted. One of those people is now in a critical condition in hospital. Another seven are hospitalised. Um, again, how someone wasn't killed, again, is just purely down to luck. Uh, uh, so, yeah, yes. very lucky indeed. So you talked about greater powers. Uh, ideally, what, what, uh, what would you like to see? What the, the extent of those powers granted to the officers? At the moment, youth officers can really only retreat into to safety and await the arrival of the police. That's what occurred. And, and again, luckily, none of those officers were injured. Um, however, a, a number of detainees were seriously injured. Now, we think they need to look at similar powers to what corrective services have, where they have different uh, appointments. Um, indeed, they have access to um, things like gas. I mean, again, you need to look at it within the context that we have offenders up to 21 years of age. We need to look at why are they housed in the same institution as, say, a 12-year-old? Um, why do they put sex offenders in with uh, run-of-the-mill car thieves? There needs to be a root and branch review of how we manage these facilities. Okay, and finally, uh, what? Uh, how are you? The officers uh, going who are caught up in this incident, Stuart? As uh, far as you know, they're traumatised. That one facility, we have 25 officers currently off on workers' compensation. Uh, the injuries range from fractured eye sockets, broken legs, uh, to having blood spat in their face. I mean, they've been treated like punching bags. Um, obviously, many other officers are very fearful about going to work. It's why we need the government to act. And they're going to need to have a long, hard look at how we now restore order.